what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to customize the checkout and shop pages on your woocommerce store on wordpress so let's get right to it first of all as you can see here i'm on my wordpress main dashboard for my website and um, you need to install a couple of plugins for this to work so first of all you need to install obviously the woocommerce uh, plugin in order to have an e-commerce capabilities on your wordpress uh, website or have products on sale on your WordPress website. So you're just making your WordPress into an e-commerce website or have the ability to add products to sell. And the second one we need to add is the Elementor, which is a powerful website builder that you can use to edit the pages with lots of add-ons and plugins to install. And the third one, so as you can see, I have the WooCommerce and Elementor installed. If you don't have them, just simply go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, and then search for WooCommerce. Okay, Enter. And this is the one we want to install. Actually, we have an update for it, so I'll go ahead and update now. If you don't have it installed, you'll just simply click on Install Now, and then click on Activate once it's installed. So we will let it update here. And the next plugin we need is the Elementor. Okay, click on uh, hit uh, enter. And this is the one we want. So it's active, it's installed and it's active. So now we go to the third one, which will allow us to edit the Elementor templates and, and allow us to add the necessary blocks to create an, uh, a shopping or a product pages which is called Woolentor. So we'll search for Woolentor. Okay. Sorry, Woolentor. Okay. And this is the one we want, the Shop Lentor WooCommerce Builder for Elementor. And make sure you install Elementor first because this plugin will need Elementor to work. Again, click on Activate. And it's now activated. Now, in order to customize the uh, shop pages, first of all, let's take a look at it. So if we go here to our uh, site name and visit store, and as you can see, we have a pretty basic shopping uh, page. I've only added one product. Of course, you can go ahead and add more products if you want to. Now, as you can see, it's pretty basic and the checkout page is pretty basic as well. The basic one for the theme that is applied. Now, in order to edit them, let's go back to the dashboard. Okay. In order to edit them, let's first create a template on Elementor. So go to Elementor and right below it, you'll find templates. And here you'll find the option to add new. So click on add new. Okay. And now in the template uh, type here, select page because we are building a page and then enter the name. Let's say we are building the shop page. So shop page create template and now it load up the page in the elementor editor and here it is now first let's add uh, a banner here let's go ahead and uh, so basically elementor is a uh, elementor is a drag and drop based editor where you can like drag elements such as text images videos dividers and so on and add them to the page so we'll add an image first let's drag an image here you can drag the widgets here okay and now we want to add an image so let's click on edit and it will load up here click on choose image and then free images here by pixabay we'll need to search for like tech because let's say i'm selling tech uh, products such as my uh, computer because let's say I'm selling tech products such as uh, keyboards and computer uh, cases and stuff like that as the mouse. And um, let's say, okay, I like this one, for example, click on it and then save and insert. It'll be downloaded and then added here as a banner. So that's pretty cool. And now we can edit here. Uh, the, of course, you can delete it, we can like duplicate it, we can move it around here if we want to. Okay, and now let's go ahead in the Elementor, uh, like uh, blocks here or items. Let's scroll down here till we see 
okay here the shop lantern uh, like uh, blocks or widgets okay and let's add a universal product layout drag it here and as you can see here I only have one product so this is the layout that is uh, like applied and here I have uh, I can add it as a tab or as a slider so that's pretty cool if I have more than one product actually let's go ahead and add more and here I can edit it with the same uh, the box with the same height or not and have the query settings here I can filter by the recent product feature product best selling so I can choose which products are like displayed here and the product limit is three product category I can add a category if I have categories I can exclude out of stock items exclude hitting and hidden items and uh, custom order if I want to so I can or, uh, make them in a custom order however it won't make a difference since I have only one product here now the content settings I can choose style so style 1 style 2 style 3 and style 4 again you choose the style because it will make a difference if you have more than one product okay hide I can hide title if I want to as you can see computer mouse I can hide the price I can hide the category so let's hide the category because it's uncategorized right now I can hide category before border I can hide the rating if I have rating on and reviews on the product now the action button settings okay I can show or hide and as you can see once I hide it the ad, uh, actions here are uh, hidden the add to cart and the search are hidden here I have the quick view and as you see here the quick view and the uh, add to cart button are now hidden if I show them you can see quick view and add to cart which are added by default here and I have the styles for the button I can have style 1 and here it makes a difference because it's the style for the buttons themselves so it makes a difference once I change the style let's say I like the style okay and show on once I hover them or naturally so you can set it to show them always or once you hover over the product so I like it this way and in the position I can set it to the left right bottom middle and like uh, whichever I want to and I can show the add to cart button text so if I click to show it I can here click it shows a text instead of, a, of an icon <coughs> okay and I have the image settings if I want to show a single image or an image slider or a gallery tab a countdown setting I can show a countdown timer right here or the slider option if I want to I can edit the options so here I have the shop page first click on publish right here to save your settings and let's go back to our main dashboard okay and here I will go to Elementor add a new template go to templates add new okay here add new template select page let's say check out create template and it load up the Elementor web builder and I can basically do the same thing and unfortunately in order to edit the checkout page and go ahead and view the cart settings and stuff like that all the uh, good widgets are in the like wool enter pro so you'll need if you want to go ahead and go all out and edit all your pages with with wool enter you'll need to invest in the wool enter pro however just for the sake of this video I'm going to show you uh, let's go ahead and choose some widgets from the wool enter free offerings here and let's add um, okay product description for example okay and now it's added so you basically get the idea you do the same and then publish it to save the changes so that's how easy it is to edit the checkout and product pages on your WooCommerce store using Elementor